Ace List Building, Session Number 5, Getting Traffic and Leads. When your Ace List Building system is up and running, the next thing you want to do, and you want to keep doing, is driving traffic to your Squeeze Page site. This will be the constant effort you need to put in, and eventually later on, this step can also achieve automation once you get the hang of it. Make sure that it converts subscribers and customers optimally before you start automating the traffic generation methods. When you start getting massive amounts of traffic coming into your site, you will need two to four weeks to tweak all areas of your squeeze page system, including the squeeze page itself, the one-time offer and downsell, and any of the seven follow-up emails. After that, you can work on purely automating your traffic sources like PPC, banner ad advertising, and so on. Before getting traffic that leads to your website, you want to first test out your squeeze page system by opting in yourself and joining the mailing list just to make sure everything is working and the process is smooth flowing and you don't go into any 404 error page not found pages. That being said, when you have the ACE list building system up and running by covering all of the previous sessions, the only thing you have to do constantly from now on is to drive in traffic and tweaking your squeeze page and quarter quad steps so that they convert at their maximum or best conversions. There are different traffic generation methods that you can pull off almost immediately. You don't have to use all of them. As a matter of fact, you only have to stick to one or two traffic generation methods of your choice at the moment, and then you can start taking on more traffic generation sources when you start getting used to the first ones. This is the most challenging part for most people, just starting out online, especially for newbie internet marketers. Their number one concern is getting traffic and how they can get noticed online. We're going to answer all these questions through this session number five alone, how to get traffic and leads. Remember, the school of thought here is that you want to get all the targeted traffic to your website first and let your squeeze page convert your visitors into subscribers and this can be the super targeted prospects that you can sell to eventually through your follow-up emails and your compressed steps. Starter traffic, pay-per-click. Sign up with Google AdWords, adwords.com. Create three variation ad campaigns. Target relevant keywords with search volume of at least 15 daily. Freekeywords.wordtracker.com The first traffic generation method that you can pull off right away is a popular choice among marketers because you can get traffic almost right away once your ad is up on the world's leading search engine, Google. It cannot get any faster than this and you can start getting traffic in the next five minutes using this method. It's called pay-per-click or PPC. Instead of resorting to methods like search engine optimization or SEO, which will take a long time and cannot guarantee that your website will appear on the first page of Google for the keywords that you have targeted, you can appear on search listings instantly by paying your way through and you only have to pay for every click that Google generates for you. The clicks can range anywhere from 10 cents to even 50 cents and dollars per click for highly profitable keywords which is costly for PPC users, but since you have your ACE list building system in place, you can easily cover your cost of advertising back through the OTO and follow up emails to products or third party affiliate products and profit later. So sign up for a free account with Google AdWords at www.adwords.com where signing up is free and you only pay when you start generating clicks from Google where they have people searching for specific keywords that you are targeting and these people are very likely to be your target market. So when they see your advertisement and they click on it and Google charges you a certain amount depending on your budget. The next thing you want to do is you want to create three variations of your ad campaigns to put on Google search engine listings. The reason is because three different variations, especially different headlines but similar bodies, is because you want to test out which pay-per-click advertisement converts the best and generates the most click-throughs. After a few days, you want to pick out the winner and ditch the losers. Pick the winning advertisement and that will be the campaign you will use from now on. Next, you will need to target relevant keywords with a search volume of at least 15 searches daily. This is the bare minimum and depending on how hot the demand is in the niche you're in, you will want to target keywords where not only are the targeted prospects searching for them, you want to get as many impressions as possible to increase your chances of getting click-throughs. So, for example, if you're selling golf balls, you will want to start searching for keywords like golf, 
golf clubs, golf resorts, and so on, because the kind of people who will search for these keywords are typically golf players and not people from other sports or interests. Use this free keyword tracking tool called Free Keywords at freekeywords.wordtracker.com. Then you can start targeting keywords that are being searched in high volumes daily, and you can start searching for keywords like golf, golf balls, and all that to see how many searches the search engines are generating on a daily basis. That way you can find out each keywords are being searched very often and which are not so you can spend your pay-per-click advertisements and let them be advertised for keywords that are being searched more often compared to those that are more obscure. List building tip free split testing in your Google AdWords account go to website optimizer split test your squeeze page with the main one versus two other variations different headlines after two to five days pick the winning squeeze page with highest conversion you can split test offers with Google AdWords and believe it or not you can actually do it for free in your Google AdWords account there's this tab called website optimizer click on it and you will be brought to a special page where you can set up your campaigns and start split testing your squeeze page so use your squeeze page and create another two copies of it the only difference is that they have different headlines so what you are going to do is that you're going to split test your main squeeze page against two other variations which are similar in all ways with the exception of the headline. So after two to five days of driving traffic to your website, you should have substantial results by then and you will find out that one squeeze page converts more than the other. Again, pick the winner and ditch the loser. Pick the winning squeeze page with the highest conversion rate. There is a school of thought that the squeeze page is considered to convert very well when it's converting 20% and above, which means for every 100 visitors going to your page, you can convert 20 of them to subscribe to your mailing list is a decent conversion. 30 to 40% would be considered good, and anything above 40% would be considered phenomenal. Starter Traffic Article Marketing Write 250 to 400 word articles. Insert your author bio and imply a benefit with the link to your squeeze page. Submit to top eZine directories like eZineArticles.com. Allow reprint rights to the article. Be a guest contributor on other people's blogs. Another traffic generation method you can employ right away and is free is called article marketing. In fact, a lot of authors and article marketers do this, and they're actually making quite a good income and in generating healthy exposure just by writing articles to be submitted to directories. It's a no-brainer. In fact, as long as you can write in standard English, you will be good enough to write an article. Write an article in a range of 250 to 400 words, and write about something practical or with useful information that a reader can benefit from, like tips, how-tos, or secrets to something. Next is to create a very simple author resource box and you can start getting backlinks and traffic from there. Write 5 to 10 articles like this at a go and once you're done with them you can start submitting them to top eZine article directories like eZineArticles.com. However, take note of the fact that if you submit your articles to directories like this, take your time and do it slowly. This means that you should not send all 10 articles at a go, instead send one a day or one every few days. You do not want to be taken as a spammer or someone who is up to suspicious marketing activities. Another bonus for submitting your article slowly is that you can allow more exposure and you can prolong your advertising power throughout time instead of submitting everything at a go. Also, when you submit to article directories like eZineArticles.com, the catch is that you must allow reprint rights to the article. This means that the readers who visit these websites will be allowed to reprint your article and republish them on their website, blog, newsletter, or even offline, provided that the content is not edited and is intact, the author bio box in particular. This is actually a good thing, because when you have several blogs or websites reprinting or republishing your article, you get a lot more backlinks and you can start generating incoming traffic, which will also increase your search engine optimization in a positive effect and your website will start ranking higher for certain keywords that you have been targeting. Another bonus when it comes to article marketing is that you can also be a guest contributor on other people's blogs. So when you start making more appearances on other people's blogs and approach relevant blogs and websites and offer to be a guest contributor, provided that you can give good content and benefits to the members or readers of these sites, you can start getting more exposure as well. 
Imagine, with all the resource boxes that link back to your squeeze page, you only end up getting more targeted subscribers who already have a good initial impression of you, respect you, and will eventually love you because they really like your stuff and what you put up and start building on the loyalty even before they subscribe to your newsletter. The moment they are in, it is as good as having a very good potential customer. Another starter traffic method you can apply, besides article marketing and pay-per-click, is giving away free reports. Since you can write articles, you can also merge a few of them and convert them into special reports to be given away to ebook directories and membership sites in your niche. A report does not have to be a long ebook, and in fact, 8 to 20 pages are sufficient, although I have seen reports that contain as little as 3 to 4 pages. When you give away free reports, it builds a much more substantial credibility on your part and people may have a higher perceived value of you as an expert or an authority figure in your field. When you include links back to your squeeze page and website, you will start driving more traffic in. Moreover, since they've already been pre-sold, they will already know who you are, and there are higher chances that they will start subscribing to your mailing list almost instantly, without having to read word for word or even watch the video all the way. This is a very good marketing technique, and you can start distributing free reports to membership sites and ebook directories in your niche like jojina.com and maxebooks.com and sites like that. In fact, if you go to google.com and perform a search for ebook directories of membership site directories, you can start getting a list. You can approach membership site owners and offer to put your free report in and contribute it as content. Owners will tend to accept your offer because membership site owners, like myself, are always on the lookout for good content to contribute to our sites to be shared with the members. Another bonus of membership sites are that the members are much more active than those in typical ebook directories where people just search through a library. There is a reason why people prefer to go to Anime fan clubs instead of public libraries. The comparison is similar. Web 2.0 Tactic Facebook Sign up at Facebook.com. Go to Ads and Pages and Home. Write your campaign ad. Target by network or demography. Set a daily budget and track conversions. Speaking of Web 2.0 marketing methods, this is really the latest wave of traffic generation, especially the likes of Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. I have seen dating and self-improvement gurus use these methods very effectively. We'll start with Facebook. If you've not gotten an account with Facebook just yet, just sign up for a free account at Facebook.com. Then, you can start building your list of friends right away by searching through your email contact list and start befriending people simply by adding friends. And when you add friends, the link back is mutual. When you have a Facebook account and a lot of friends, that itself is not going to help drive traffic to your squeeze page. You cannot just edit your profile, put a link out there, and expect people to know who you are. That is not enough, and it's only for starters anyway. The rule of money making is going to be the ads and pages section in the home page of your Facebook. You probably already know that you can see advertisements on the right hand side of your Facebook interface. So depending on what network you belong to or what keywords are detected in your profile, different types of advertisements will appear on your Facebook account. For most of you who belong to networks like Australia or the United States of America, you will see advertisements that are geographically or demographically related to your network, like weight loss or how to minimize taxes in Delaware. Enter the ads and pages in your home page and you can start writing your ad campaign. You're going to write an ad campaign to drive traffic to your squeeze page again, and this is the constant goal you should have for all traffic generation methods. Write your ad campaign, and you can choose your target based on network or demography. This works like a pay-per-click for Google AdWords, except that you're leveraging a Facebook network, and this is good because Facebook is easily one of the top 10 websites in the world, according to Alexa.com. It is easily one of the top websites in the world and has more than 100 million users to date. Of course, you're not going to target all of these 100 million users. Instead, you're going to target them by network or geographically. For example, if your squeeze page is about targeting people within a certain area, for example, within your own town or state, you can set it to target only users who belong to the American network or people in certain states. But if you want to target by keywords, you can also pick that, and supposing you want to target internet marketers, for example, you can start adding in words like internet marketing, e-commerce, ClickBank, and any other words that you can think of that are related to your field. 
This is very important because you don't want just about anybody to click on your link and you don't want this to appear to just about anyone. But you want to generate high click-throughs so that your squeeze page can convert at its best. You want to get targeted traffic, not people who are uninterested or trigger happy with their mouse and click on advertisements because you will eventually bear the cost for every click that goes through your Facebook advertisement. Like pay-per-click, you can also set a daily budget and track the conversions. Have a daily budget of $100 for starters, or even $50 to see how it goes. And like pay-per-click, check your campaign advertisements every now and then for maximum conversion. This is a very good marketing tactic on Facebook. And because I've seen people building fan pages and very quickly obtain a few hundred fans, 5,000 fans and so on, you can see that a lot of celebrities are using Facebook today to drive popularity and fan pages have emerged for computer games, favorite TV shows like Lost and Prison Break, who are all doing the same thing. Small and medium businesses can also leverage on the same marketing power that is made available to everyone else. Web 2.0 Tactic Twitter Get your free account at Twitter.com Follow people by exporting from your email address, Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo. Go to TweetLater.com and automate your DM and follow new people. Of course, we will also have to discuss Twitter, a very much talked about Web 2.0 microblogging concept. Twitter is like, in a way, a smaller version of your blog, but instead of posting full content, you write updates about yourself in 140 characters, like a text message, and post it publicly to your followers, who are the members following your account. Just imagine if you have followers in the numbers of hundreds or even thousands, like what some people have right now, and you are able to send a message instantly to everyone in 140 characters. You can get people to take action right away. It is like an instant mailing list of your own. So when you have your own mailing list, that is already a very good bonus because you can start making money from every email you send to them, just like the alternative. In return, you can also use this to build your existing mailing list. For starters, get a free account with Twitter at Twitter.com if you don't have one just yet. Once you've registered, edit your profile and add your squeeze page URL as your default web page. Now you will want to start to enlist followers in return so you can follow first. To start following users, you first export the email addresses from your contacts list in your inbox. If you're using Gmail, Hotmail, or Yahoo Mail, you may start exporting right away. Not to worry, it is safe to use, your privacy is protected, and everything is secure. Once you've done that, you will have a few users to follow right away because you will have a few contacts in your address book who are currently using Twitter. However, this is not sufficient as you want to enlist followers as well. Of course, some of your contacts might be mutual followers as well, but at this point, you will still be following more users than you will have followers. The next thing on your agenda should be go to TweetLater.com and start automating some things. Sign up for a free account and integrate it with your existing Twitter username. One of the sections will have a segment called Direct Messaging. And there, you can start entering an automatic direct message so every time someone follows you, your account will automatically send them a direct message saying, Hi, thanks for following me. Check out my website at, insert your website URL over here, for example. So when someone follows you, you will automatically send this direct message without you having to lift a finger at all, and through this, people will start getting exposed to your website. Most people may not take notice or may even ignore your advertising message on first contact, and they may continue to do so for subsequent contacts. But by the third or fourth contact with the same advertisement, they will start getting curious, and by the fifth contact, they may click on it just to check it out, but still may not be interested. By the sixth or seventh time, they might show interest and start buying. So you can see this all together. We can start breaking down, and Twitter will help you do that very easily. Twitter is like building an alternate mailing list besides having an existing and current mailing list with the autoresponder accounts like GetResponse or Aweber. So just imagine, you have immediate advertising power to immediately advertise to hundreds or even thousands of followers in less than 140 characters. Ad Swap Making subscribers with subscribers Works when you and another list owner have a similar list nature and similar size. Do cross promotions mutually Source of ad swap partners, warriorforum.com, Facebook group. So we have already talked about starter traffics, and you can start using them right away. Implement any of these methods, and you can pick one or two of them, and start developing them to drive traffic to your website. See some results, 
and when you start having some subscribers you can start making exponential subscriber counts from here on and I call this the ad swap it works when you and another list owner have a similar mailing list nature and size so what you're going to do is that you're going to approach other mailing list owners who are just like you and are in the same business but are almost related you're going to offer to carry out a mutual cross promotion with him when you find them approach them and say something along the lines of hey my name is so-and-so and I'm also in the same business as you are and I have a similar mailing list size I was wondering if we could do an ad swap together all you have to do is send me a solo advertisement and I will send it in my mailing list I will also send you a solo advertisement and you mail it to your mailing list fair enough okay we've got ourselves a deal do this with as many people as you can but within reason so that your subscribers will not get cornered by too many emails in a short period of time or in a week for that matter using this method you can start building your mailing list size just imagine if you approach 10 list owners to do an ad swap with you each time you may be mailing advertisements to your mailing list for 10 other owners in the form of 10 emails to your subscribers but in return you have 10 other people mailing your advertisements to their mailing lists thus you have 10 list owners talking about you simultaneously and you can build your subscriber base from there by leveraging on other people's mailing list this is as good as it can get when you work with your competitors some of the best sources of getting ad swap partners is the warriorforum.com just go to that website and sign up for an account with them introduce yourself and get to know the members after that you can start leveraging on the joint ventures section another step you can take is to start searching for the keyword ad swap on facebook.com I'm also in connection with a few active ad swap groups in Facebook which is a really reliable source as well and I really recommend that you check them out giveaways another step ahead contribute a quality high appealing gift and visitors can download in exchange for opting into your list you and other partners must agree to promote the giveaway event for the host giveaway events this will help put you another step ahead in your list building efforts and you can start executing this when you have a substantial amount of subscribers giveaway events are like the bigger versions of ad swaps during which you and a few other partners are in the same event where each of you contribute a gift the only catch is that if your visitors want to get those gifts they must subscribe to your mailing list what you can do is to gather a few other partners to pool your gifts together on one listing on the same page and all of you agree to drive traffic to that website assuming you are working with nine other people so there are ten of you ten mailing list owners including yourself driving traffic and sending visitors to the same website by mailing it to all your mailing lists and when all these visitors go to this website they see a list of gifts while some of them will be interested in the gifts others might not when you have the power of 10 mailing list owners driving traffic to the same website imagine how many subscribers you can get from this small time sensitive event so the first step is to join closed door giveaway events and contribute a high quality and highly appealing gift for the event that visitors can download in exchange of opting in to your mailing list that is the only catch you and other partners must agree to promote the same giveaway event for the host and that is how the thing really works it turns out beautiful when everyone works together on this you will not only be helping other people build their mailing list you will also be benefiting mutually and exponentially one last word on giveaway events though is that you should never join giveaway events which are termed massive scale at first impression they may tell you that there are 800 to 1000 partners joining and the numbers may sound impressive however it's an exaggeration because those so-called 800 partners most of them are usually not qualified internet marketers and do not have a real mailing list instead they're just in the event so they can ride on your efforts just imagine if you are the only one promoting the event while others are not so when you start sending your own subscribers to the event while everyone else is not doing it everyone else will gain your subscribers and you will not gain any mutual return so try to refrain from joining massive giveaway events it may have worked in the past but today it doesn't usually work especially since not everyone is as competent the methods we've discussed so far are all very powerful and you can start getting a mailing list built up very quickly and you can start covering and investing your one-time offers and downsells and put your telefriend script in place strategically speaking you can build your list much more exponentially and in due time your mailing list will be a gold mine for you however 
there are two more other methods that can help you get quality leads. Contribute bonuses. Get quality leads. Create one or a few paid products. Approach other sellers and contribute your paid product as an unannounced bonus. Get the seller's list of customers. Ask the seller to put in his members area or thank you page. Next, we will talk about getting quality leads in return of contributing bonuses. This method is not often utilized and this makes it all the more uncommon and rare as it is not a saturated method. It is very easy and all you have to do is create one or a few paid products which are generally selling for their market price and the next thing you are going to do is approach other sellers and contribute your paid product as an unannounced bonus. The only catch here is that the seller's customers must opt into your mailing list to get the paid product. So get the seller's list of customers and then you can ask the seller to place the unannounced bonus in his members area or the thank you page. If you know that there is a launch coming up and it is related to what you're doing, you can approach the seller and tell him something along the lines of, hey, I have a paid product that I think your members or new customers will benefit from. You can put it in your thank you page or your members area. If the person says yes, he will put your products in the appropriate pages and new customers can join your mailing list. In actual fact, you are building a better quality list this time because these people have already proven to be buyers. They may not be direct buyers, but they have been proven to have bought before and have money to spare. Co-reg leads. Get brokers to send leads to you for a small price per name. For example, 10 cents a name. Getsubscribers.com. Another method you can do is co-registration leads or co-reg leads in short. Co-reg leads are like this. You get email brokers to send leads to you for a small price per name that can range from 10 cents a name and so on. Each time a broker sends you a subscriber, you pay a small amount. As such, if the person sends you 100 names at the cost of 10 cents each, you pay a total of $10. The prices may differ, but the good thing about this method is that when you get reliable email brokers, you can have them refer targeted traffic to you and you can acquire targeted subscribers for a nominal fee. Again, you do not have to worry about overspending your money or going broke for that matter because your three steps, one-time offer, downsell, and seven follow-up emails will help you to recover your investment very easily and most of the time you can expect it to be in the profit zone. Remember earlier? We were talking about GetResponse.com. This is where the bonus comes in. When you use a GetResponse autoresponder, they have a related service called GetSubscribers.com and it is like a Git response broker. They help acquire subscribers for you. The packages are in bulks and you can get names for bulks of 100, 500, 1000 or even 2000. It's not recommended to get the 2000 package because the problem with the 2000 subscriber package is that it's going to take a long time for them to start sending the leads to you. Instead, buy bulks of 200 subscribers so that you can build your list much faster. When you buy 10 bulks of 200 subscriber packages from GetSubscribers.com, this means that you can advertise 10 of your advertisements and this increases your exposure. What GetResponse does is that they are trying to get subscribers from co-reg methods or opt-in pages in their networks and that is how you can easily get targeted subscribers to join your mailing list. This is not to be confused with the 1 million emails for $29.97 kind of shady deal because those are actually illegal, illegitimate, and unethical practices. Most importantly, none of those people have requested to be on your mailing list before. So it's better to stay away from those so-called 1 in a million for $29.97 type of email offers. Others. Instant Do Now Methods. Signature file at form or email. Paste opt-in form on blog. Name card. Your Web 2.0 profiles, like Facebook, Twitter, and MySpace. We have already run through quite a number of traffic generation methods with you by now, and hopefully you've benefited a lot from this. It is quite easy to perform, and you can pull off most of these methods right away. Stick to one or two methods first, and then you can start increasing from then on. However, before we wrap this up, there are still a few more instant do now methods that you can start on right away, such as in the next five minutes. What you can do now is to start editing your signature file in your email, or if you're a member of forums, you can start editing it there right away. This will increase your exposure. Do not count on making a sale from things like these, but you can break the advertising barriers so that when people keep seeing it repetitively, you can build a stronger brand 
in the future whenever they see you or hear of something they will start associating you with that thing right away another instant do now method to get new subscribers is that if you already own a blog or website you can add an opt-in form if you go to sites like johnchow.com you will see that he has put in an opt-in form there and there are a lot of sites like this professional bloggers that has an opt-in form this is so that he can start getting subscribers from his visitors if you're an offline person instead and use name cards like me you can also place your website URL in your name card don't forget your web 2.0 profiles like Facebook Twitter and MySpace where you can insert your website URL and talk a little bit about your business these are instant do it now methods and you can start getting a little trickle of traffic from utilizing these methods but most importantly you can start getting a torrent of them with methods like pay-per-click web 2.0 tactics like Twitter and Facebook giveaway events reports and article marketing where you can count on a big torrent of traffic to wrap this up remember that you only need to use one or two methods at a time and when you eventually get used to it you can start increasing the number of methods not all the methods may work for you depending on the nature of the business you're in who knows perhaps Facebook is not an effective method for you so ditch the methods that don't work and focus on the ones that do maybe you attempt using pay-per-click Twitter and Facebook and let's just say Twitter does not work for you. You can just stick to pay-per-click and Facebook and ditch Twitter from your marketing arsenal. It is as simple as that. And there are no losses. So far, all the methods we've discussed are actually rather low cost. They will not cost you thousands of dollars, only a couple of hundred a month at the most. And even then, you can set your budget to be scalable. This concludes the traffic generation session. And when you start getting the hang of it, you can also automate the traffic generation methods when your system has proven to convert. Systems like pay-per-click, Facebook, and Twitter, for example, are all actually automated traffic generation methods.